Hello, Year Eight. So today in science,、uh, we are going to talk about changes of states. As you know, matters、uh, can be divided into gas, solid, and liquid, and they actually can change from one form to the other,、uh, dependent on uh, in situations. Okay, so. The situation here mainly refer to how much energy, a、uh, loss or gain, which uh in this term we use uh cooling and heatings. Okay, so gas can actually turn into liquid, and liquid can actually turn into solid, and vice versa. So before we start, we're gonna go through the lesson objective. So the lesson objective today is you are able to understand. That matters can change their state from one to another, and you are able to know each of the term used in change some matter. Okay, so let's begins. So as we know, uh, solid is actually packed with particles. Okay, they are actually packed with particles. So that's why they can't move a lot, and they are able to vibrate, uh, which is their form of movement, and、uh, the reason why that is is because they are tightly bonded to each other. So, as you actually heat solid up, okay, it gains a lot more energy. So, when you heat them up, solid can actually melt, okay. So when solid melt, it turn into liquid. So melt. That is called a melting process. Okay. So that means during the process, uh, the solid, uh, actually receive enough energy that allows the particles in it to actually, uh, breaks away from each other, and when it breaks away from each other, it become really, uh, loose. Okay, so it become more loose, and when it become more loose, is actually able to, uh, become formless. So that's how, uh, ice actually melt and turn into water. Okay, however, the process can go the other way as well. When, uh, water which is liquid, loses heat which is cooling. Okay, which is cooling, uh, it actually. Able to form ice, which is a solid pack. So that process is called freezing, or what we call sol solid solid solidific solidify. Okay. So when things actually solidify, like your butter, when you actually melt your butter. Uh, your butter, the particle in butter actually loses, uh, uh, the grip from each other, and they actually break the bone, bond, and they turn into a、uh, liquid butter. But when you put the butter back into the fridge for a while, it will solidify, or freeze and turn into butter again. Okay. So it's all actually to do with how much heat you lose or gain. So let me repeat. In order for solid to turn into liquid, it has to melt, which means it you actually need to give a lot of energy to break the particle inside apart from each other, okay. And you can do the other way, which is liquid turn into solid by freezing them, or solidifying them. Okay, so that means during the process. The liquid actually loses, loses the heat energy, okay, loses the heat energy, and that allows it to turn back into liquid, uh, into solid. My bad, sorry. So let's look at liquid to gas. So when you give uh more heat to liquid, actually liquid will break uh. The particles in the liquid will break down even more, and now they become more free. Okay, when they become more free, 
they turn into gas and this process is called a boiling process okay it's called boiling or it also can be categorized as called vaporization vaporization or it can be called as evaporation okay so boiling vaporization and evaporation actually are different things so boiling actually require really high uh, temperature okay to break the liquid like water into water vapor however uh, water can also turn into water vapor uh, just by evaporating when you when you um, as long as you give enough just enough heat energy the water molecule will escape into the air and turn into water vapor the process can go to the other way which is your morning dew so in the morning you observe a lot of leaf actually there are a lot of uh, uh, water molecule on a piece of leaf okay so on your piece of leaf you have this tiny droplet of water on there every morning and that process is formed by uh, water mol vapor in the air turned into water liquid water and this process is condensation okay this is a process called condensation so condensation gas will turn into liquid it means uh, in the morning the weather is uh, temperature is really uh, lower low and that allows the water vapor in the air actually loses the heat okay and cool down and so that means all the particles actually join back together to form a, a liquid okay so gas on the other hand can also turn into solid without turning into liquid first uh, because we know most of the most thing is this will actually turn from gas to liquid and then liquid to solid and the other way around okay but there's a few things in this world actually turn from gas into solid straight away and uh, that process um, is uh, one example is carbon dioxide okay so carbon dioxide which is co2 okay your carbon dioxide uh, can actually turn into dry ice as you know it dry ice is actually uh, carbon dioxide uh, a solid form of carbon dioxide uh, it is very useful especially to keep uh, uh, food so certain food if you don't want it to be wet or if certain things you don't want it to be wet and uh, like what you have if you put uh, ice on it uh, it will turn into really wet cold stuff but with gas uh, with carbon dioxide ice uh, dry ice it will actually just uh, be really cold but with no moisture okay that's one benefit of it so when carbon dioxide uh, turn from uh, dry ice back into the carbon dioxide this is a process called sublimation okay so sublimation is where uh, a block of dry ice uh, because uh, and the the particle in it are all tightly bound together when it's been heated up by the surrounding temperature it will actually break away and turn back into carbon dioxide okay so in these videos we went through um, the three different uh, stages of each matter which is from gas to liquid and liquid to gas and vice versa and we went through a few uh, different terms on uh, what is the process called okay so uh, remember they all actually only involve uh, heat energy 
when you lose this heat, it's called cooling. When you uh, gain heat energy, it's called heating. Okay, represent by the red arrow. So, can you please write down any confused questions that you have so that we can actually uh, discuss about it during our lesson? Thank you very much for listening. Peace out. Bye.